Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. It got announced a couple of days ago on social media that my role within story racing has changed. Now you're all aware from a previous video that I decided that I was hanging up my racing wheels. Now it was a not an easy decision, it was a tough one and I took a long long time to come to terms with it. However my team story racing have been absolutely incredible and they're allowing me the opportunity to take up the role of being a mentor within the team. Now this is an opportunity I could, I just could not pass up. I, it was just like, it was almost too good to be true. When they came with, to me with this opportunity to be a mentor, I just couldn't pass it up. It's gonna be very strange for me because I'm now going from being on the start line of a race to the other side of the barrier, cheering on my story racing teammates throughout the year. Now the racing at the moment, as we all know, lockdown is happening and we're not able to race. All the racing for the foreseeable future has been canceled, unfortunately. However, this allows me a time now to work with the team in a different way, like just come to terms with my new role within the team and come up with some great ideas ideas around the racing and things. So yeah, this is the perfect time now for a new door to open and to really, really get my teeth stuck into this new role within the team. So now I'm going to head over to a FaceTime call with my two teammates, Lucy Gad and Zoe Backstead, who I'm sure you've seen on social media, in the races. They are two incredibly, incredibly strong girls and lovely people. I'm going to jump across now to a FaceTime call to ask them a couple of questions about their views on my new role as a mentor and also what they are going to be looking forward to most when lockdown resumes. Hi girls! Hi! Hello! <laughs> I have a couple of questions for you. So a question directed at Lucy. What race are you most looking forward to doing when the racing resumes again? On experience from last year, my favourite race last year was Tour de Yorkshire and obviously that will be this weekend. So yeah. hopefully that will come back when um, we're able to race again, maybe later this year or next year. I don't know, I just really like those races and also nationals would have been good as well because like you're riding against the best and you can just learn so much from it. So The other question is, what are you looking forward to most about having a mentor within the team now? Because it's like a new dynamic for the team, isn't it? To have sort of a person that was that is assigned a mentor role. It's really good, especially as you were riding for so many years before. Um, <laughs> I feel like we could learn a lot from you, and just having you around at the races as well. Like you're such a big part of the team before, and like keeping you there is just good. Like it gels everyone together, and like we always have good fun. So just like learning from you, and now that you don't have to worry about racing yourself, like I can come to you literally like five minutes before the race, but I can help. <laughs> um, yeah worrying about your own race so yeah that's what we did so now we're moving on to zoe zoe is our youngest rider in the team zoe what race are you most looking forward to when racing resumes again because you are you're an all-rounder you do everything you do the cross the mountain bike the road the time trial and so out of all of that if you could just pick one race which is obviously going to be super super <laughs> if, can you pick anything sort of maybe nationals or whatever what what are you most looking forward to racing again i'd probably say being able to get to race a world cup because i'm first year junior this year and the junior girls get their own world cup in cyclocross i'd probably say i'm most looking forward to that even if we didn't have quarantine right now i'd say that's probably what i'm most looking forward to for the whole like 2020 season and get into race world champs hopefully it's like the cross if I get selected but otherwise on the road probably Ghent Love again that was so good it was such a good race but yeah I just love the race love the cobbles and the second question for you again is what are you expecting to learn going forward from having a mentor within story racing wanting to learn like how like start lines are with the bigger races and how you deal with not pressure but like nerves going into the race and how all the girls race like in the tour series because I know you've done tour series and just like the little the smaller bits um in the racing at a higher level have either of you got any sort of are you are you looking forward to sort of learning a little bit more off the bike as well from like a mentor point of view like not only a mentor can direct you and calm you down before a race and, and keep, keep that sort of level-headedness but I think off the bike as well I think it'll be quite a nice vibe to see how that develops to sort of maybe post-race analysis the social media side of things
things. I think that when women cycling doesn't get a lot of coverage, I think sometimes that that other side of the mentor will be quite good as well to sort of, you know, come together as now I've been in race situations, but now I'm almost on the other side of the fence. Outside of the racing, you can you could learn a lot with social media and we're all so active on social media as we learn from Sarah and the team and, and trying to boost women's cycling. But do you both agree that like the mental role could be off the bike as well yeah yeah especially with post-race stuff because sometimes you can come off and if it hasn't been the best race you like you don't want to go to your parents first or your coach first because you don't want the like the criticism first you want just like something to calm down and like bring it back like center it back to like normal life and it's like that wasn't the end of the world kind of race um i think that's really good from a good friend as well i hope you both staying safe in isolation thank you very much girls and i'll um i'll hope to see you very soon thank you so there are eight riders on the team nine including me but the eight riders Riders that I will be working alongside are Dame Sarah Story, as we all know, Kelly Murphy, Katie Toff, Corinne Hall, Lucy Gad, Zoe Backstead, Chanel Mason, and Charlotte Parnham. And the new riders we've got on the team are Charlotte Parnham, who is primarily a track cyclist, and Corinne Hall, who is a pilot for a tandem rider on the Great Britain cycling team. She is coming with an immense amount of knowledge. So all of us put together, we we create such a great dynamic because we all bring track riding. As you all know, Zoe Backstead, she's a cyclocross rider. So my role within the team really for these girls is to really just work on our off the bike skills. So this will involve like post-race analysis. And as we're all aware, we're Women's cycling suffers a little bit with the coverage side of things. We are not getting the exposure that we'd quite like. It is changing and it is getting better, definitely. But we're still at that phase where we're not getting as much as we'd like. So I'm going to be there in a mentor role to help the girls and direct them in a way where we can really give our sponsors the exposure that they need. These sponsors put in so much time and so much commitment to a race team to provide product and to provide everything they possibly can to make our race team what it is and as everybody knows a cycling team is held up by a lot of things but the sponsors are the main thing so for us the post race analysis will be absolutely crucial really talking about how a race was for certain people because every girl within the team is going to have a different view on the race some people are going to say it was super hard some are going to say that was a breeze because different terrain suits different riders so I think post race analysis that will come in massively that's what I'm going to be there for really to sort of help guide blogs that we can post on our website and just general content on social media as a whole like I was saying the sponsorship side of things you know like posting race pictures everybody loves to see a race picture you know where you're in your full kit and you feel the absolute 100% you could possibly be posting that on social media and creating positivity around a race a race team that environment that atmosphere you can really make that come to light on social media so I think it's really it's going to be really important for me to sort of help the girls in that sort of way on social media helping them to develop their content because it helps for them for the future and it helps it helps the team massively and it helps women cycling you know like like I was saying the boost there for the exposure you know if we're not going to get it in the way that we'd like like tv coverage and things then social media can be used in such a positive way to give a team that exposure so I am super super grateful to the managers of the team Sarah Story and Barney Story they have been incredible in allowing me to stay connected to the team and I can't wait I can't wait they're like my little race family my hardest decision for me stepping away from racing was thinking that I'm going to be stepping away from the team as a whole and leaving those girls behind because they have become like sisters to me and it is like a little race family so I am over the moon that the team have still got me on board I can't wait to bring you guys content from behind the scenes of races and just just, yeah just go and have some fun when racing resumes so with that being said I really hope you continue to follow me on this journey knowing what the future has to hold now and hopefully it's some positivity to hear whilst all this lockdown is going on let's stay safe let's stay at home protect the NHS I will see you in my next video bye guys